Hey and welcome back to Vita vs 3DS. This is going to be a quick video review of Tabletop Tanks, uh, the latest AR game released for Vita. So um, the game is very simple. It has three game modes, which are solo challenges, multiplayer mode, and solo creator. The solo challenges, which we won't be getting into in this video, are just a set of uh, very simple and short challenges that you can complete. Um, there's not many of them, uh, and they don't take very long. I've already done about half of them in about 10 minutes, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, the multiplayer mode uh, is ad hoc only. It's not, it doesn't support online play, which is kind of re kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it is uh, one the game does cost two bucks, so uh, it's understandable. And we have solo creator mode, which I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, so there's three main modes here, Capture the Flag, 2 versus 2, and Last Man Standing, which as their title suggests are pretty easy to understand. Capture the Flag, you capture and return your flag to your base. <clears throat> 2 versus 2 is just a death match, uh, two, two, uh, 2 players against 2 players, and Last Man Standing, which is just a death match and the last person to die wins. So we're going to do Capture the Flag. Um, we'll set the flags five. We'll put the AI skill down because I just wanted to show off some of the unique features without getting killed, and put the enemy tanks down to one. Uh, we'll make a small arena because I don't have a big surface here. All right. So for this, you all you need is three cards. You can use five, but you just need three. So I'm going to use cards number one. Two and three, as you can see here. Just get them a little higher up. There we go. All right, so hit done. All right, now this is the grid. Now the really unique feature about this that isn't in any other AR games on either Vita or 3DS or any system for that matter is how it can use real world items in terms of gameplay. And I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to use an apple and I'm going to use my trusty 3DS. So uh, before you start the game what you're going to want to do is go to shapes. Uh, for the apple, apple is a sphere, so we're going to click on sphere. We're going to drag the sphere shape over to where the apple is. Try to get it right on top of that bad boy. There. Now you can set the shape and increase the size, which shows me here that I don't really have it right on. That's roughly the size of the apple, so. Try to get that back on the apple there. Perfect. Then now here we can set an effect. So we're going to turn it uh, invisible. And we're not going to have any special effects on it. Now let's add one more shape for 3DS, which would be cubed. By the way, sorry for those little sounds you're hearing now. That's my camera auto-focusing, which I have to use now. I'm moving around so here we're going to move this cube shape similar to 3ds's angle we're good with that going to increase the width of it to match 3ds's going to increase the length of it to match 3ds's and the height and bring it down all right cool and for this we're actually going to add an effect we're going to put the invisible and we're going to add an effect so smoke comes out when it's hit. And so that's all the shapes for this map because it's small. We can also add items, which are, you can add gun turrets and things like that around the map. But this, this is a small map, but it's going to get confusing, so I won't. Alright, so let's go. So I'm the black tank. And I'm going to show you something neat. See, now, since I made that, I can actually run into my apple like I did there. I could shoot my 3DS, have smoke about it, I can use it for cover. It's an actual gameplay thing, I have to actually have to drive around it, which is really cool. To my knowledge, this hasn't been done before. Anyway, in terms of gameplay in tabletop tanks, it's very simple. You know, you have a, you have a machine gun, which you hit with the L button, you have your rockets, which you hit with uh, your R button. 
and there's little power-ups that come from a cargo plane that flies around and uh, it gives you little power-ups like shields like uh, homing missiles or triple missiles or uh, different power-ups like that. Uh, in terms of 3D space, it doesn't really use 3D space well. Like I can get really close to the action here and, and play like that, which is fun. But uh, it doesn't really serve a purpose. It's actually better to zoom out and get a better angle like that. Um, but that said, you know, even without using 3D space, it does use this really unique feature where you can use real-world objects like this, which is pretty awesome. Um, And yeah, so actually this makes it 3 for 3 now in terms of video games that don't really use 3D space very well. But uh, again, in terms of a game, uh, this game is probably the best AR game on Vita. It probably edges out Table Soccer, but uh, that said Table Soccer is free and this is 2 bucks. So, you can take that into consideration. And, you know, there's not a lot to the game. It has trophies like other other Vita games and, you know, it's a you know, decent little game and everything. I feel that it was worth the money, especially for just, you know, playing around with AR and, you know, having AR you've never seen before. Oh, this is an airstrike, so you can tap on the screen and use it wherever you want. Which I just blew myself up with. That was cool. Um... But yeah, so it's a nice, simple little game. It's, you know, you get what you pay for. It's two bucks, and it's two bucks well spent, in my opinion, especially if you want to see really cool AR like that. Anyway, so let's just end this match. So that's it. Um, it doesn't have a platinum trophy, obviously. It just has really simple trophies, but overall, I feel that it's, you know, Especially if you're into AR and you want to see where this technology can go, it's a, it's a pretty decent game. It's pretty fun, and it's two bucks, so totally worth it in my opinion. Anyway, uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.